Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to Mecca and Pilgrimage in the bible by ask a muslim as i mentioned previously i'm always skeptical when it comes down to certain religious claims that a prophet or a certain teaching can be found in a previous religion especially coming from a christian background because i saw what christians did with jesus trying to find him in the old testament nevertheless as always i keep an open mind i'm here to learn and it wouldn't be the first time that we see a video that actually can convince me otherwise so with no further ado Let's have a look. Mecca and the pilgrimage to it in the Bible. As Muslims, we believe that Islam is the religion of all the prophets of God, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, peace be upon them. Therefore, we believe that that is the unifying red thread that you can find only Islam. Instead of claiming that Islam is a new religion, that Islam has it right because it is a new religion, it makes the counterclaim. It says, hey, listen, guys, there is nothing else but the submission to God. And the submission to God is what all the prophets have practiced. There is literally nothing else but Islam from the Islamic worldview. It is a very powerful message. Moses and Jesus foretold the coming of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and they referred to the holy sites for his followers. Allah said in the Quran, indeed the first house of worship established for mankind was Bakka, blessed and guidance for the worlds. As we see here another name for Mecca, the holy site for Muslims Bakka. is Bakka. Mm -hmm. We also see this name mentioned in the Bible in the Psalms of 84. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord Almighty! My soul yearns even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home and the swallow a nest for herself where she may have her young. A place near your altar, O Lord Almighty, my King and my God, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you, Selah. Blessed are those whose strength is in you who have set their hearts on pilgrimage as they pass through the valley of Bakka. They make it a place of springs, the autumn rains, also covered with pools. From this we can gather the fire. All right, I had to double check this on BibleGateway.com and I'm actually shocked to really find those words. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage as they pass through the valley of Becca. And this wouldn't be the first time that I heard the claim that Mecca was known as Becca as well. So this is really mind-blowing stuff. I didn't know this. From this we can gather the following. In this place is the house of God. Its name is Becca. It's a valley and it's not mountains. In yeah. this place the Lord is praised and it's a place for pilgrimage. This is a valley and it's dry. Inside it there is a spring of water. All these descriptions fit Mecca as well. It's the house of God, the Lord is praised, and people go to it. If we still have Christians watching, please guys let me know in the comment section what you think about this comment. Can you confirm this? Can you debunk this? Please let me know. For pilgrimage. Mecca is a valley, it's dry, and it has Zamzam spring water. Right. In the book of Genesis, it talks about when Zamzam spring water was made by God, when Hagar was left in the desert by Abraham. It says, When the water in the skin was gone, she put the boy under one of the bushes. Then she went off and sat about a bow shot away, for she thought, I cannot watch the boy die. And as she sat there, she began to sob. God heard the boy crying, and the angels of God came to Hagar from heaven and said to her, What's the matter, Hagar? Do not be afraid. God has heard the boy crying as he lies there. Lift the boy up and take him by hand, for I will make him into a great nation. In another place okay. in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah, it talks about the place where a new spring water will burst, and we call the place of holiness. Again, exactly describes Mecca. Then will come the lame, leap like a deer, and the mute tongue shout for joy. Water will gush forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. 
the burning sand will become pool, and the thirsty ground bubbling spring, and the haunts where jackals once lay, Jackals. Grass and reeds and piperus will grow, and a highway will be there. It will be called the way of holiness. It will be for those who walk on that way. The unclean will not journey on it. Wicked fool will not go about on it. The question is, what is this springs of water is? And what is this great nation? Hmm. It's the nation that came to follow the last messenger of God, who was the descendant of Ishmael. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who was also. sent to the mountains of Paran, which is Mecca nowadays. In the Bible we read, This is the blessing that Moses, the man of God, pronounced on the Israelites before his death. He said, The Lord came from Sinai and down over from their seer. He shone forth from Mount Paran. Meaning, the Lord came from Sinai is referring to the coming of Moses. And down Egypt. over from Sayyir referring to the coming of Jesus. And shone forth from Paran is referring to the coming of the final prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Wow, Jesus, dude. peace be upon him, told us that one day people will praise the Lord in another place other than Jerusalem, in reference to Mecca. In the book of John we read, Sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you Jew claim that the place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. Woman, Jesus replied, believe me, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither in this mountain nor in Jerusalem. It is well known. I have to make a cut here and address the Christians, the liberalized Christians that believe that Jesus was some sort of pacifistic hippie dude. And moreover, I have to address the Christians that believe we have to worship Mother Mary as the mother of God. Jesus was very, very harsh with women. He was always giving them straight directions. He was a leader. Really read the Bible yourself and you will see that particular behavior. An absolute leader that was commanding his followers and moreover was commanding the women as well. Known that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him came from the lineage of Prophet Ishmael right. and one of the sons of Ishmael is Kedar. Mm -hmm. Also it is known to all Muslims that when someone goes to Mecca pilgrims do a lot of praising. Knowing these facts let's see sure. what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah. Sing to the Lord new song his praise from the end of the earth you who will go down to the sea on all that is in it you islands and all who live in them. Let the wilderness and its towns raise their voice. Let the settlements where Kedar lived rejoice. Let the people of Sela sing for joy. Let them shout from the mountain tops. Mecca is the holy place to Muslims where Muslims are obligated to go there once in their lifetime. While there, they follow the rituals of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. Islam is not a new religion. It is the religion of all prophets of God. It's the that's religion exactly the of Jesus and Moses and Muhammad. And that's what the Bible says. Follow the truth. If you have a questions about Islam, ask a Muslim. Alright, and this is it for today's video. As I said in the beginning, it wouldn't be the first time that I was convinced otherwise. This video truly convinced me otherwise, especially the explanation of the coming of Moses, the coming of Jesus, and then finally the coming of Mohammed. This was linear, just as the message of Islam is linear, that Islam is the religion that all the prophets followed. Just as clear and linear was the explanation of the coming prophets. For me, it made sense. However, I would have have to research further in order to truly know, to truly understand. Nevertheless, I want to invite you to comment in the comment section, no matter if you're Christian or if you are Muslim, and discuss respectfully. What do you guys think? Can we see the coming of Muhammad in the Bible? Can we see the pilgrimage about Mecca, aka Becca, predicted here in the Bible? I'm really looking forward to hear what you guys have to say. For me personally, yet again, very, very convincing stuff. Yet again, another stepping stone in my journey that, God willing, brings me closer to the truth. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. If you look into the statistics, still over 70% are not subscribed to the channel. So if you like the content, subscribe and hit the notification bell as well so you stay up to date every time I upload. All right, guys, but this is it for today. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.